You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Four Gates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. Yeah. What, what, what a difference a year makes. Um, proud. Proud of this team. Um, just ask them to keep growing up, keep digging in every time defensively. Leave each other, fight for everything, do things the right way in school. They outworked a good team today. And as I told them, they got what they deserved. We did. We got what we deserved. That's a good team in that other locker room. They, you know, if, if, if we know who Maryland is. We know coming into this, you know, a, a number one team. I just can't say enough about our effort, the energy that was in our stands from our student body. It allowed us to play off that energy. Proud, just proud. That's it. Questions? Here. Uh, Charlie, do you remember a better defensive performance out of your team? Last time we played Maryland in a big game. <laughs> 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 The biggest difference in a truck accident versus a car crash is the investigation that the lawyer has to do right from the beginning of the case. Number one is obtaining the logbooks of the driver to show that the driver was not rested properly according to federal law. Uh, investigating through the black box and getting an expert to figure out from the black box of the truck the speed of the truck or where the truck had been. Usually you have catastrophic injuries involved with tractor trailers as well. So it's a different ball game. And if people are injured in a truck crash, they really, really need to find a lawyer that knows what he's doing with truck crashes. So, Coach, it looked like um, you did a lot of work to get sure to get short stick matchups on on your offensive end, but it also looked like on your defensive end. You had a really good day shutting down any kind of attack, dodging from, from Maryland. Can you talk about that, that strategy, perhaps? Yeah, well, I think, you know, I got to give Coach credit, uh, Coach Bakers a lot of credit. You know, the, the strategy really started at the X. Maryland's terrific at the X, and, you know, stats will show that. But uh, we just were ready to kind of get in and, and give up a, a six on five um, to be able to get our short stick. We didn't want to allow. Our, our face off guy to get caught in the wash and give up that delayed sub with the guy coming out of the box. So we just, we gave it up early and said, okay, go ahead and play offense with your face off guy, your short stick and your pole. So it, it really all started there. Um, but then after that, it was important for us to try and keep the integrity of our defense. Uh, we talked about switching on picks inside the box, but um, you know, once the game got going and they, we, we played off the energy of our, of our stands, I didn't think we really had to slide all over the place. I thought that the guys held custody of their matchups really well. Um, we knew their middies were going to be, you know, some long extended dodges um, through X, and they got us on a couple of those that we talked about. Um, but, um, you know, again, I just think that, you know, it, it, when, you, when we're able to go four deep in our short sticks and just keep throwing guys at them and, and throwing multiple holes at them. I thought we were able to play with a high energy. And um, and then obviously when there was a breakdown, I got a guy that I'm sitting next to that just kind of flat out shut the door and, um, and bailed us out. Can you talk about the run that you went on from, it was about eight to six, and all of a sudden it was 12 to six. Can you talk about the offensive explosion that you had there? You know, I don't know if it was an explosion, um, but you look at the stats, I mean, we had 10 shots in the, in the second half and seven went in. Um, it was called execution. And, um, and the guys really, you know, they settled into the offense and they worked hard for, for good shots and, um, and they went in, right? That's it. Like it wasn't an explosion out there. It wasn't us running by guys and, and having a barrage of shots. Like we were very efficient. Um, we talked about trying to play a little bit deeper into the clock um, in that moment and, um, you know, you challenge guys to win matchups, right? You challenge guys to defend matchups defensively, and at the end of the day, somebody's got to run by somebody. And um, I just was, we, we talked in the locker room, 
about having some freshmen that really need to grow up for us quickly. Um, and I thought they did. I thought Minicus and Haberman and Little Murphy, um, they're out there running around and, and, and playing with great energy for us. And um, yeah, uh, just I'm real proud of the effort. Since 1991, Viron Forgates has completed thousands of projects across the D.C. metro area and around the globe. Use Viron Forgates for your next IT project. Great products, on-point tech support, projects that run on time. These are some of the reasons that customers love Viner Forgates. We make your company work for your next IT project. Call Viner Forgates at 301-251-2900 or on the web at vinerforgates.com. Charlie, how much did you talk about losing last year and but not go overboard with it and same for the players? And is that something you guys talked about or you just kind of said, that's last year, let's move on? Yeah, um, my, my, and I'll let them tell you, but my, my talk to the team before the game is that um, there's gonna be kids in the front row, and they're going to drive home with their dad. What are they going to say about Loyola today? Do we stay together? Do we, do we hustle? Do we care? Are we efficient? Are we different in the goal? Do we stay together? And at one point I asked every one of our guys to look into the stands with about 10 kids in the front row. I said, look at them. They're looking at you. So that's it. I just, I just wanted them to it wasn't about last year. It's a new team. I said that last year. You know, we had a lot returning. We got a lot returning defensively. We were able to lean on that. Um, but it's a new team. There's new look. There's new leadership. There's new voices in our locker room, and uh, and it's refreshing. Any players want to? Don't be bashful. <laughs> I can go ahead and say for uh, on the defensive side of the ball, I think we knew we had a lot of returning guys coming back in, but it was kind of uh, finding our new identity this year. And I know that we kind of look to rely on us to allow the offense to take advantage of their opportunities, but I mean, we, we know who we have coming out of the back end, and I think that's a strong focal point on our team. And I think it's something that we've really had the opportunity to grow as a bunch of individuals and a, a bunch of team members and kind of build the chemistry and stick together and really just take pride in everything we do every day of practice, every day in the weight room. So it's just with a new outlook on the season, that's kind of what we were going for. Yeah, I'd like to ask the goalie, uh, you made some saves under your arm today with your right foot, with your left foot, with your knee, you know, what was going right for you? It's like you were almost in a zone today and I'm sure the guys in front of you had a lot to do with it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, like I said, it, like Coach said, it helps to have, you know, so many veteran guys who, who do things the right way in front of me. And, you know, our whole rope unit to our close guys, uh, even, you know, at the face-off X, not giving them a ton of fast breaks against a really, really good player. Um, so that definitely helps. Um, you know, we did a good job, you know, I think keeping them out of the middle, forcing some lower angle shots. And I think it makes my job a little easier when, you know, maybe I have to steal one here and there. Um, you know, Coach always talks about kind of holding the pipe and, and, and being disciplined, you know, on those low angle shots. So, um, you know, Maryland's a good team. They're a great team. You shoot the heck out of the ball, obviously. They hurt us a little bit last year with it. So, um, you know, it's my job to kind of be there when, when something breaks down. But I thought, you know, as a whole, we, we, we did a really good job kind of allowing me to see shots that in a perfect world out, I'd like to see. Coach, uh, transition wise, what was your game plan going in? Because Maryland burns everybody on transition. You know that they did it to you last year. They did it to every team they played, but not today. What, what went right for you? We one? think the strength of Maryland is their poles. Um, and we really, we were going to give up breaks to their short sticks. So we're going to kind of go in opposite box. And so we really tried to flood the middle of the field and not give 20, not give 51 shots um, coming down. And, and they still got them. They're just so that's who they are. Um, but it really starts with clean saves. You got to make a save if you're going to run. Right? And, and and I thought that we did a good job of, you know, if, if it was a clean save of really kind of taking away the middle of the field and forcing a pass maybe down to a wing defenseman and not letting them get over the top. Uh, we tried to just, again, just flood the middle of the field, force them to go to the side, 
and then handle it with their short sticks. And once they do that, they're going to get their guys on the field. But you're right. That was something that really hurt us last year. We watched Richmond film from last week, and it looked like it hurt Richmond. You know, it's just it's kind of who they are. That's their identity. And, you know, that's what you try to do is to take away one part of a team's identity. And, and I thought that the guys dug into a game plan and, and really were able to kind of eliminate that part of it. Uh, this is for the student athletes. Can you talk about the joy of winning that game with that crowd behind you? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I don't think you can really put it into words. Um, <clears throat> having a student body out like that, which they are every weekend um, for, for as long as I've been here is awesome. Um, and thanks to them. Uh, I'd say it's just been an absolute enjoyment since I've been here. I've uh, done five years here at Loyola and we've always been relying on our student body to kind of represent us in the stands and kind of give us some energy on the field. So it's been a privilege. Yeah, I'd probably piggyback off what these guys kind of said. I mean, anytime you beat a team that's the caliber of Maryland, it, it definitely hits different. But, uh, you know, we got a tough schedule, a lot, of, a lot of really good teams coming up. And so, you know, this is definitely one that, you know, we got to, where we'll celebrate. But, you know, start Monday, Johns Hopkins is a really good team too. There's more to come. So. Yeah, uh, and what do you say to um, Henry and Matthew before the game to try to get them to play even and calm? Well, I asked them if they were nervous, and they both said no, and then I told them the nerves were good. Um, but they, I mean, they played lights out. I mean, it's not easy to go into a game as a freshman of that caliber, you know, looking at Brett Makar and Ajax Zapatel guarding you and a great goalie. Um, but, I mean, that play that Vinny gets had at the end, to be able to do that as a freshman, you know, is, is crazy. And uh, we're going to rely on them a lot for the rest of the year. John, what did you find out about Joey? What, Kamish? Yeah. Um, we kind of knew. He, he's working to get back. Like, he's day to day. Um, we think he's close, but uh, those guys were ready. And, you know, the game plan this week was in with, with them at attack. Luke, you guys, Charlie, what was that one? Um, I just want to ask you guys, um, I guess in Maryland's last game, their shots were very on target, and today it was in your hands getting all, like, basically the on target shots, so how were you guys able to do that? I, mean, I coached kind of hard on execution. We just, you know, we played loose. We, we worked a lot on shooting this week. We always have. Um, but, yeah, just executing and, and valuing every shot we have. I mean, you can't waste them. Luke, Charlie told us that you guys – practiced a little bit different this year, did more outside and used different colored balls in the indoor facility. Did, did you notice those things making a difference today as you had this insane day? You know, I think, uh, you know, obviously everything you do in the fall and early in the preseason, you know, it's, it's going to make an impact, you know, no matter when the game's played during the year. But, you know, I, I yeah, we definitely had a little bit of a different approach than maybe last year. Um, <clears throat> obviously, you know, Sam had a great career, you know, finishing up, obviously, you know, kind of trying to find out who would be the guy. And, you know, Freeman's been, you know, so supportive, great, great goalie himself. And, um, yeah, you know, just doing things a little bit differently before practice. Um, and practice has, quite frankly, been a little harder, I'd say, last year. And that helps. I think it shows it's helped these guys. I mean, shooting, what, 7 for 10 or something, you know, during the stretch of the game. And, obviously, I played pretty well. Um, so, at the end of the day, you know, I think we've just got to continue to stay consistent and, and you know, take one, one practice, really, at a time. Thank you. Anything else, guys? Terry? Uh, Charlie, uh, apologies, I can't remember who mentioned, but Hopkins coming up. Um, I don't know if you know, but they're coming up one over Georgetown. Um, what are your thoughts on that game? And I mean, can't hear those, like, They handled know? success. They beat Georgetown. Uh, they beat uh, Jacksonville last week. They handled success. They went home and they got a win. Be a, our message on Monday. You know, should be uh, should be a great environment again. I hope. You know, with both of our women and our men opening up here. And uh, yeah, we need to handle success. And we'll see if we've got a, a mature enough team to do that. But I, I will say this, and I, 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 and I said it in the locker room, a lot of the credit, and it hasn't been said here, has to go to our scout team this week who prepared us for this win. Like, Maryland didn't do anything that we did not practice. From their sets, to how hard they went, to the shots that Luke was seeing, and, and it allowed us to not be surprised by the speed and the energy out here on Saturday. To get to our matchups, um, I give the I give my coaches a lot of credit um, to getting those guys prepared to see what they were going to see today.